cycling, time trials and stalling this week. Any tips for enjoying the fest, uh, fest festivities? When people cycle by, go, yay! <laughs> Remember, they're not going to hear you. That's that's what I said to I said to Lynn. I don't know why people at the cycling side have gone in Glasgow or did. I don't know why people had gone like that. Hey, because they, they can't hear you. When I'm cycling at a kind of normal speed, the wind in your ears, you can't fucking hear anything. Plus, you know, they've got their heat doing, they're just sort of getting on with the cycling, they're not looking to the side like that. That's your ears, that's wind, it's wind. wind. That's your, it is my ears, that's right, it's my ears. It's my ears. That heal. Yes, that's right. Don't go. Punish them for their ignorance. Just don't turn up. Don't go. Don't go here. Until they, until they say, we really need you guys out there cheering for us. Until you hear it from the racers. No for the t no for the PR lot, no for the management. You need to hear individual people who are cycling on the bikes saying it would be great to see you guys out there supporting us. Unless you hear it for them, don't go. No, here's another thing. They'll be shutting down your city and your town. Shops will be you kinda get into them. Losing business. Each and every cyclist in that race must do a personalised video for everybody in that city apologising before they in the cycle. It brings tourists, it brings fuck all. I had that tantrum donuts up the tune there. Lynn told me this. There you had that tantrum donuts shop up the tune. They've got one up the tune. And they've got one in Runabout Finiston. Jock Kill, if I remember. Small donut shop that started out in Finiston. And they expanded a wee bit to go um, up the tune. They were told that that stuff that was happening up the tune with the bike shop, uh, the, the cycling bike shop, the cycling, um, wouldn't affect them. People would be able to get in and out of their shop. Their donut shop. And then on the morning, they had everything ready. They'd made the donuts. They got prepared. They'd done all their work. They went there in the morning. This is according to what Lynn, so this is off setting, setting on information. So so I know you'd really care about this, but I might be wrong about something. I don't think so. And they tried to get into their own donut shop and they were refused, not allowed in, or something like that. Now that's all fenced staff. Now I kind of get in there. And so they went on uh, online saying, listen, fucking 25% off of donuts in our shop. Thought we're going to get in, can he? And you can, you can bet they'll be having to pay the fucking rates. The money to have that place. And there that's happened for what? Who gives a fuck about these fucking bikes? But they managed to get lots of support and lots of people bought the donuts and that's it. How did they manage to make the donuts? I take it they, they sort of make them somewhere then bring them in. You know, you've just got like this wee shop somewhere in uh, up the town. You've not got the room and make tons of them. They might make them sort of somewhere else, take them in. Scam and market, says Vector. Publicity stunt. Probably £5 a donut and don't fucking buy them. Haha, <laughs> so you don't actually know. I told you my knowledge was a wee bit uh, foggy. So you've no caught me out. How's a phrase that I said right at the start? It could be wrong about many a much. Of, maybe the whole thing's completely made up and then it happened. Maybe I've never stepped foot into that place even though I have. 
had one person come to my fringe and then my show is sold out. I mean, I believe that as well. You know, that person that said, I uh, posted a picture of him in tears saying, one person came, two maybe. And then, no, it's like, I don't, it's no sold out, but lots of tickets. Happens every year, such a scam. Bollocks. Bollocks. You're just starting to say like fascists. <laughs> 